I want to start this video off by saying a huge thank you to the folks over at YOLO Park. They reached out a week or so ago asking if I'd be willing to take a look at some of their upcoming model kits for Transformers Rise of the Beast. And of course, I was more than happy to say yes to that. So thank you very much, YOLO Park, for sending these over. I'm really looking forward to taking a look at these kits. So they sent over three. They sent uh, Optimus Prime from uh, Rise of the Beast. They sent over Bumblebee. And they sent over Optimus Primal. Today, I'm going to be taking a look at the Optimus Primal kit. This is probably the one I'm most excited about uh, because from the images that I've seen online, this one really piqued my interest. Very cool looking kit. You can see the box there. I'm sure you can with the artwork on the front. On the side, this side, just uh, Rise of the Beast artwork on the top and bottom. Then on the back, you get a shot of all the pieces inside and just a simple description of everything you'll find inside the box. With that out of the way, let's open it up. It's Kato! So this is what you get on the inside of the box. It's hard to make out because of the glare, but I hope you can see that it's it's not a lot to assemble. I actually expect this to look a lot more like the Bandai uh, Dragon Ball Z kits. I've done a couple of those or something a little more similar to Gundam, but it's not. It's virtually complete. You just got to put a couple things together. I'll go through and show what's inside the packaging, and then the next time you see it, it'll be all put together. Yeah, so this is a little easier to see without the glare, and see if I can get it out of there with the whole thing falling down. Uh, it is largely assembled. Like, there's obviously his chest plate, his abdomen piece here. Uh, the arms are all assembled. So, uh, not a lot to go over. I'll, uh, I'm just going to put it together and see what you guys think. Because this isn't what I was expecting. I, I was expecting something much more difficult. So, you got a few different hand options. But I'll put it together and we'll go from there. And this is what you're left with once you get finished building the kit. And I'm going to tell you, if you're looking at this as being like a challenging kit to build, uh, forget about that. It is super simple. It's pegs and holes. You're not building elbows and joints and little bits and pieces like you would on some of the Bandai or Gundam kits. It is shoulders, arms, legs, feet, torso, head. I mean, it really is that simple. It took me all of... Uh, four or five minutes to put this thing together. So you're not going to need instruction on how to do that. But what you are left with when you're done is a badass looking uh, Optimus Primal robot mode. And no, it doesn't transform. I don't think I don't think Transformers have to transform. I'm not that guy. I uh, love the head sculpt. I think it looks fantastic. All that molded detail in there. This is, of course, the masked face. You can pull this off. I'll show that in a bit. You can pull this off and put... Uh, this little face on, which is more like his little monkey head, but it looks good. You've got his mouth there. It looks more traditional Beast Wars Optimus Primal. Uh, it's very simple. You just pop this off, pop the mask off, and put on the new face. Love how the chest and all these pieces here look like they're expanded out, like they're going to close in and transform and create this ape mode. The abdomen here, all with that silver and, again, that dark charcoal gray. Tons of little piston and mechanical pieces back here to let you not forget that you're dealing with a robot uh, coming down to the thighs. All the parts that look like they come from his beast mode look like they have the molded fur here, but then you have this uh, nice smooth plastic here again with that silver. More mechanical bits inside, pistons and pulleys and pieces that move and transform or look like they would transform all the way down to his mechanical feet. On the arms, you've got, of course, more of that fur detail with some more mechanical stuff here going on. Pistons in the back. No, the pistons actually move. They are just decorative. A couple of visible screws, not too bad. You've got this vertebrae coming down to the back. I think that looks awesome. And you've got that pivot joint right there. More mechanical bits coming down to the back, uh, on the bottom of his lower back here. Fur bits coming down to the feet. Absolutely outstanding looking robot mode maximal logo right there you can see i've got the weapon holding hand in his left hand and the open palm here in his right the weapon itself you can 
uh, take out here. Here, sit down and peg these together and create that, you know, pretty iconic long weapon that he has. Uh, you also get, stand up, buddy. Uh, you also get a pointy finger. You get another open palm for his other hand. You get another weapon holding hand. And you get another or a closed fist. So uh, the pointer finger and the closed fist, uh, actually, they're both the same hand. So there you go. That's what you get with that. I think the end result is pretty outstanding. Very sturdy. A lot of fun to play with. Wouldn't be an action figure review if we didn't go through articulation. You have a ball joint just at the base of the neck to give you some spin, but you also have an additional ball joint at the lower part of the neck. So plenty of movement there. You could get 360, but this little cowl or neck piece gets in the way. But, you know, 360 rotation is, I think, uh, who can do that anyway? Uh, rotation at the upper uh, upper shoulder. You've got some in and out for you have this ball joint here at the shoulder to move that around. You've got this that can come up here. I mean, that actually can go all the way. Rotation there, rotation here. Uh, 90, uh, more than 90 degree knee bend there. A ball joint at the wrist with rotation there. You have a ball joint at the upper abdomen to move around like a little teapot. And you have swivel at the waist. This joint can be a little loose, um, but it's not spinny, but it's a little loose there. Um, but some ab crunch there. Legs go out, up, back, rotation here at the upper thigh joint. You have a drop hip uh, hinge right there. You can get a little extra swivel in there. You've got more than 90 degrees at the knee. You've got toe tilt, some ankle rocker, and uh, pivot here at this joint there. So plenty of articulation, honestly. Uh, more than actually I thought it was going to be. Let's talk about size real quick because uh, I know a lot of folks have been wondering what uh, height these are. You can see a pretty simple A stance right there. He's going to be right at eight inches. I know it probably looks, yeah, that's about right. Eight inches to around the top of his head, a little higher than that to those side horns there. So not really a small figure. Just to give you an idea of something more recent, there he is beside the most current Rise of the Beast figure. Not the Studio Series, just the regular release uh, Rise of the Beast uh, Optimus Primal in bot mode as well. To give you an idea how you change out that faceplate, you're going to pop off this little cap here at the top. Slide out this face that's on a peg. You're going to grab the other one. Reverse that process. Slide. Put it the right way. Slide in on that peg, then pop on his little skull cap again. And now you've got his traditional Optimus Primal face. Then just pop that right back into the joint there, right there, and you've got it swapped out. So there you have my look at Yolo Park's AMK Series 20 centimeter Optimus Primal Model Kit. And, and model kit is a loose term. Yes, you do have to put it together. No, it is absolutely not difficult, but the end result is pretty awesome. I have a feeling I may have built my favorite one first. So I, I'm, I'm hoping it's not downhill from here, but I think the other ones are going to look good too. But this Primal looks amazing it is a fantastic figure it's built well super easy to put together the uh, accessory options are spot on with the face swap and the uh, swords a couple hand swaps and you're done uh, again i can't stress enough how easy this is to put together whether that's a plus or a minus uh, as far as uh, building that's up to you but for me it was a breeze it took four or five minutes and you're done it is a whole lot of fun lots of articulation no it doesn't transform so that's however you feel about that but it is a wonderful model kit with some really really good fun results in the end guys thanks so much for hanging out with me i really do appreciate it if you made it this far and haven't subscribed to the channel yet hit that subscribe button smash that like button share this video out there with your friends thank you again yolo park for sending this over till next time this is kato signing out see you around like a donut